Hello, my beautiful Capricorn friends. Welcome to your January 1st through 15th, 2021 reading. We've survived to the next year, and here we go. This is our first two weeks of the year. A collective reading for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. Just remember, anything you want to check out, the curiosity shop, becoming a Vibe Tribe member, getting a gift certificate, or booking a reading. You can see all that applies to me on royalmystic.com. So without any further ado, let's go into the reading. We have the King of Wands and the Hanged Man. So the King of Wands is the action and oriented toward work and making things happen. And the Hanged Man is staying in that higher mind, allowing the universe to guide you and give you information. So connecting to source and taking action. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you for your presence, Divine. Page of Swords. The world, very nice. The Ten of Swords, that's a great energy of releasing all the toxic old stuff. And the Sun, absolutely. The Queen of Swords. The Six of Rods, which came up in the second cut. That's a victory. Your Capricorn Major Arcana, so that is, you guys are always happy to see your own energy. The Devil card represents your major arcana of your Capricorn sign. We have our heart's desire being granted here in the career and finance. Lots of new opportunities for abundance with the Eight of Rods and the page offering money. This is usually an agreement regarding money. So there's an announcement being made and it's helping you to understand what's coming next. So within this first two weeks, you might have like a company meeting or some kind of of a thing that's been on hold till you know we could see clearer what's going on in the world so here's the little page with the information you seek he's bringing in the details you have the world card which is moving up being raised up above where you are now so it is an upgrade energy so it can be a uh, promotion or moving some of you maybe so because if my guides are now there I'm getting the word going global going global so people are finally feeling like maybe the world is going to open up and that's the energy you have here and the ten of swords means releasing all that old fear and toxic energy and feeling bombarded listen we're all battle weary and this is the end of that so hallelujah and the sun which is a divine alignment where the universe is putting things in place for you to have an opportunity to hit the goal that you've been after this is moving the planets out of the way so that you have a direct sh line of sight and a shot at what you what your target is it is a beautiful manifestation from the universe to assist you we have the queen of swords which is the energy of being connected to source it also means acing a job interview or making, you know, your idea being very well received. Sorry, I get the lovely little hiccup and weird things when I'm doing my readings. They have the, the Six of Swords, or Six of Swords, Six of Wands is the energy of having your, coming through the battle victorious, being head and shoulders above the rest, being the front runner, being the lead prospect. And this is your empowered energy of the Capricorn Major Arcana. So it shows you are standing out. Um, uh, in the crowd so you're you're literally in in the focus of everyone like looking at you as the the best thing since sliced bread we like that now we have the nine of cups and the nine of cups is the energy of heart's desire being granted so it means you're very content and happy with what's going on you feel comfortable and secure very good energy lots of opportunities coming in with the charged energy of the eight of wands very electrified new new energy and abundance coming in so this is either a quote or someone offering a financial agreement or arrangement here 
with that little page. So let's see what the clarifiers have to say. The Eight of Cups is on the bottom. That means moving forward past all blockages. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. Your presence is always welcome. Looky there. Ten of Pentacles. Happy, happy, happy. We like that energy. Lots of abundance. The world on the world. Cappies, I'm going to say this is your time. The Ace of Cups, The Fool, brand new beginning, the cycle starts again, The Nine of Pentacles, so you get a reset here. The Nine of Pentacles is the Garden of Eden. The Five of Cups is letting go of all regrets and moving forward in the new abundance. And you've got your soul family energy here of the Six of Cups, very excited energy. We have the Knight of Cups, an offer being extended. Two of Swords telling you not to overthink it. Don't, don't get too caught up. Let it, let it flow. And the Page of Cups, which is saying you will be continuously provided for with that wave of abundance and the fish in the cup. And the lovely and talented King of Cups, which means this all this good stuff that's coming in, all these offers, all these things that are happening, whoever's generating that is genuinely interested in both well-being of yourself and them. So it is a, a symbiotic relationship, a win-win. So that you can't beat that. That is, they, it's all the right reasons. Gosh, Cappies, I love that you guys are starting off with this amazingness. Page of Swords. You get the information you need. It's coming in and the contacts that you need to make with the Ten of Pentacles. The lack is over. This is the end of all financial drought. That is the beautiful abundance of the Ten of Pentacles. It means either coming in in one lump sum or coming in over time, which means a lifetime of money. And the World card with the World card. So it's like a double raise or a double expansion so whatever that means maybe being in two places in the world now we have the ten of swords which is opening up letting go of the fear being blessed with the beautiful holy grail ace of cups this is the dna of the elixir of life here it is the dna of all existence so it is pretty big blessing and that means the universe is is really in your corner giving you the tools to do anything so anything is possible here also with the sun card with all of that is super amazing and the fool these are big energies you you guys this is all major arcana you got two of the same one so it's clarifying itself and then you've got this beautiful um sun card and a 10 and a 10 you, you, you're starting to see what I'm saying here. The tens are, are a big pivotal moment in a cycle change. So you've got these two world cards and two tens and the, the sun and the fool. Amazing. Amazing. So going into this new cycle, smooth transition, having an open heart. So it's saying be, be innocent and open to whatever comes and don't take all the old junk with you. You have to leave it behind because of that ten of swords. Now, we have the Queen of Swords, which is opening the energy to something new and allowing you to be connected. And it's like you are the superstar. You, you, you're shining in, in the moment, being very charismatic and able to really articulate your, your whatever your idea is. And this Nine of Pentacles means whatever it is, is not going to go unnoticed because the Nine of Pentacles is being provided for by the universe. And that is the beautiful money growing on trees, quite literally. So then the six of wands is coming back from battle victorious. So you succeed at whatever this is and you get to let go of all that old 
I keep saying rancid wine. <laughs> 2020 wasn't a good year for, for most things. And so we're pouring out the rancidness of 2020 and we're moving forward in 2021. So we have the devil card here, which is your energy and very strong showing up as empowered. So you're at your height here of, of energy and um, ability to manifest. And we have the six of cups, which is soul family energy. These are people around us who are helping us through all processes and we help them as well. So this is an agreement with other souls and, and to go through many lifetimes together and help each other learn whatever lessons that are put forth each time. So the nine of cups is the energy of being very happy and satisfied. Whatever this offer is, you are super excited about it. So it is what you want. It's what you've been working toward this whole time. A whole bunch of different opportunities. So this means a lot of new um, ways to grow and do things. And, and, and you just have to be open to all the ideas that come in. And don't try to be logical. When miracles are around, logic goes out the window. you got to just be open to anything as possible. And there's the night sorry, the page of pentacles and the energy of being offered. This is the actual money being like, this is the like bid or the contract offer, whatever it is, the commitment, the financial commitment and the, the beautiful energy of the overflow here, that beautiful wave of abundance with the beautiful fish in the cup, which means the universe will continue to provide. Abundance is coming your way like a tidal wave. And I, I have to agree, it truly is. This is an awesome reading, my Cappy friends. I hope that you can grab onto this energy and claim it and make the most of it. So many blessings to you all. I send you love, health, abundance, peace, happiness, and joy. Thank you so much for being with me through these years. And I look forward to this beautiful year together with you. Here we go, guys. We're starting a new fresh one. Namaste.